Hello, Virgo. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning the freak in. I hope that you guys are having a good week so far. Well, welcome back, my loves, and thank you guys so much for the increase in views. I really appreciate that, Virgo. Okay, so let's see what kind of lunatic is coming towards you guys in love, Virgo. Um, keep in mind the situation could be vice versa or interchangeable. Okay, the person. Well, if you're cross-watching for a Virgo, then understand that the Virgo may have done this to you, okay? So with that being said, let's see. Virgo. 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 Some of you are connected to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Virgo, what is coming towards Virgo and love spirit? What is coming towards Virgo and love? What do you have for Virgo? You got the hermit in the reverse. You show up, Virgo. So this could be someone who um, is ghosting you, okay? Or, you know, they're in and out of your life with the hermit in the reverse, okay? Um, maybe you and your partner went through some kind of separation. Maybe you guys haven't been talking. Or whoever you're dealing with, maybe you guys have not been talking, Okay. Someone probably needed some space or to, you know, reflect or something like that. So let's see. What is coming towards Virgo and love? Oh, this is not the same motherfucker from the old reading, the other reading. <laughs> Five of Cups. What is coming towards Virgo and love? Wow. Virgo. Um, this. <laughs> Virgo. Okay. So this person. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But this person, um, they feel as though it's very hard to let you go, okay? Um, they're feeling a lot of regret. Someone's feeling very sad, very regretful in this situation, okay? Um, someone could possibly still be holding on to the past, okay? Maybe someone's still holding a grudge. Maybe you're still holding a grudge against this person, you got the Knight of Cups in reverse. So perhaps this is somebody who you feel as though there were a lot of empty promises in this situation. Their words weren't matching their actions and you pretty much maybe blocked them for some of you or stopped dealing with this person. What is coming towards Virgo and love? Tell me more for Virgo and love, please. Virgo. Some of you got sick and tired of waiting for this person. Maybe you were waiting for some type of movement in the situation or wanting things to improve in the situation. But you're like, fuck it. What is coming towards Virgo and love? <laughs> what is coming towards Virgo and love, please? Some of you feel like this person just doesn't care about you. What is coming towards Virgo and love? Tell me more, spirit. What is coming towards Virgo and love? We'll be dealing with an Aries. And the Emperor. The Ten of Wands reverse. So I feel like um Virgo, there could be someone, someone could be very stubborn in the situation. Right? Because you have the four of pentacles, um, the emperor, and death in reverse. These are all cards of stubbornness, refusing to change, refusing to um budge okay so motherfucker is very stubborn in this situation what is coming towards virgo and love give me one more card what's coming towards virgo and love the four of cups in the reverse so i feel like virgo maybe you were ignoring this person or this person was ignoring you but i feel like somebody kind of they're feeling a little moody or something like that to where they don't want to talk to you right now or you don't want to talk to this person right now but the, but then again i feel like it's not over virgo death in the reverse um you know it looks because sometimes death in reverse can be talked about a situation that seems like it's dead and gone but it could still be revived but i think you're still holding on to whatever this person did whatever this disappointment was about in the past Someone's putting, shining, you see? Let me show you guys. See how someone's shining the light on, um, the ver the um, hermit is shining the light on this card. So it's like, somebody's still focused on the past or what went wrong, what happened. So someone may have returned to you, Virgo, 
but it's like you just can't you're still holding on to whatever the hell they did to you i feel like this is someone who caused you a lot of anxiety they cause you a lot of sleepless nights they cause you a lot of worry um mental anguish <clears throat> what is this five of cups about for virgo and love five of cups please five of cups and that shit just flew out okay so virgo you have the devil in the reverse be in regards to a Capricorn so you feel like this person um was toxic or something that they did wasn't very you know it wasn't very healthy for you to be around this person for you to keep being with them and I feel like um some of you really did walk away for sure you really did walk away you said enough was enough you know this person keeps hurting you The sun and the ace of cups in the reverse. <clears throat> but I feel like, Virgo, somebody wants to reconcile with you, but I don't think that you're ready for that. Death in the reverse for Virgo in love. Death in the reverse for Virgo in love. See, this motherfucker wants to get back together with you. This may be someone who... They thought the grass was greener. Maybe this was a player in the past. Maybe they made a decision to, you know, keep their options open or be a player or they left you or something like that. But maybe this person has been very distant. Four of Pentacles for Virgo and love. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of you feel as though you you were in um, you know, some type of vicious cycle. You were in the same cycle with someone over and over again. You know, I'm going to change, you know, the whole, you know, what I'm trying to say. But I feel like all this person brought you was a lot of anxiety. It brought you a lot of anxiety. Knight of Cups in the reverse for Virgo. Some of you, this may be a case of this person um, kind of being in their own way, Virgo. Or this is someone who had a block heart shock where you try to love them as best as you can, but, you know, to no avail. To no avail. So now some of you, even though they're back, you're withholding your feelings. You're not really being as expressive as you used to be with them. You're not... Because some of them, they really did take that shit for granted. Nine of Swords reverse for Virgo in love. So you got tired of this person acting as though they can take or leave you. So some of you, um, this, like, like I said, this motherfucker may have came back, Virgo. They may have came back or they will come back. But I don't think you want to give them another chance because the Six of Pentacles is in the reverse. Because you have a hard time believing that things will be different this time around. You have a hard time believing that this is going to, you know, really, um, it's like you just can't, some of you just can't see a future with this person anymore. Eight of Cups reverse. Yeah, this person may have been a player in the past. Eight of Cups reverse. They may have wanted to explore their options or some shit like that. Maybe they thought the grass was greener. They thought they had it like that. This is someone who probably was very immature. Um, they, maybe they told you or they felt like they weren't ready for a relationship. Or some shit like that. Or this person just wasn't relationship material in the past. What is this emperor for Virgo in love? What is this emperor for Virgo in love? It's almost like this person is just like 
One minute they want you, one minute they don't. One minute, you know, Emperor Reverse. You see what I'm trying to see? This is the motherfucker. Four of Cups in the Reverse again. Ten of Wands Reverse. But at some point, this behavior, whatever the hell they were doing, it started to become a burden to you. Okay. Started to just become a burden and you release them. I feel like some of you felt like one of the many to them. You felt like you didn't really mean anything to them. You, that's kind of how you felt. Four of Cups, Reverse for Virgo, in love. Four of Cups in the Reverse for Virgo, in love. This person was probably non-committal in the past. Hierophant Reverse, which led to arguments. This person was very blocked off, guarded. They refused to, you know. I don't know what I feel. So why is this person coming towards Virgo now, spirit in love? Why is this person coming towards Virgo? Be a cancer. Why is this person coming towards Virgo in love? Why is this person coming towards Virgo? You know what, Virgo? Ooh, I don't like this. Okay, so Virgo, this person sees that you're moving on. The motherfucker sees that you're moving on. And they still feel... Like they're starting to feel insecure. I feel like this person expected you to beg them to stay or they kind of expected you to react differently to this whole situation. I feel like you threw your hands up. I kind of feel like this person was a tad bit manipulative. You threw your hands up with this person. Lovers reverse. You guys broke up. There's a separation. person coming towards Virgo. Give me one more card. Nine of Cups. You see? This is somebody who kind of, um, who had this reading? Was it Capricorn? It could be dealing with a Capricorn or just another Earth sign. But I feel like, um, this person really kind of why this person was treating you like one of the many that's just kind of what i feel they were treating you like one of the many this person may have been physically abusive as well but i really don't um think you trust them or their intentions or whatever the hell they're they're trying to accomplish here Nine of cups. you don't really trust what the hell I feel like you stopped paying them so much attention. Maybe in the past, they, you know, you felt very needy or something with this person. Queen of Cups reverse. I just feel like you're not giving this person the same attention like you used to. Lovers reverse. So this person, the motherfuckers watching you, Virgo, <laughs> they are definitely spying on you. Hmm. Let's see what this person wants to say. What does this person want to say to Virgo, Spirit? What, what does this person want to say to Virgo? What if this person was taking advantage of? So you may have met this person when you weren't in a very good place emotionally. So they may kind of, they may have taken advantage of, uh, of that. What does this person want to say to Virgo angels? What do they want to say? I'm sorry I ghosted you. I really 
do care about you. I still think about what you said and I just want to fuck. What does this person want to say to Virgo? Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. What does this person want to say to Virgo? What does this person want to tell Virgo? I want to start over. I will do anything for you. What does this person want to say to Virgo? <laughs> I live with the guilt every day. Can we take it slow? I just want to have fun with you. I see things different now. So... I feel like Virgo, this <clears throat> I feel like this is someone who still wants to hold on to you, although they may not really be ready. I feel like it's just because you walked away from them and I don't know, they kind of feel a little way about you walking away from them. That's kind of what I feel. <clears throat> But this is someone who is acting as though they could just kind of take or leave you type of shit. You know, like they just really don't care. They don't want to lose you. Because the world in reverse, when I see that, especially with the chariot, is like someone who doesn't really want to lose you. But at the same time, they may not be putting their player ways to a freaking end. This is someone who likes a lot of attention. So this person, in the past, they were full of empty promises, you know. Their actions weren't matching their words. They probably were a real sweet talker or whatever the case may be. So more of the story, Virgo, they will come back. They don't want to lose you, but at the same time, I don't see them being consistent with you. I still don't see them doing much of anything. Which is very weird. So I think the best advice for you, Virgo, in this situation is just kind of keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving forward. Maybe someone who is stringing you along. Advice for Virgo in this love situation. Advice for Virgo in this. Yeah. It's like Spirit is saying it's like a waste of time. Don't do it. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Don't invest any of your emotions, your time, your energy into this person. Advice for Virgo in this love situation. Yeah. Don't overthink it. Don't stay with this person. Don't stay stuck in this person's BS. The hangman in the reverse. Yeah, I don't think this person... I think this person is not worth your time or your effort, Virgo. That's just what I feel, okay? I think they're more concerned with it's almost like every time I see this nine of cups, I just see this person having you as like a trophy, as one of the many. Like they don't really care. I just see them being so smug. Because you're feeling like the five of cups, you're hurt, you know, and they don't care. They just want to... Um, I don't like this person, Virgo. That's all I'm going to say. So let's see who the hell you could be dealing with. I don't like this person at all. All right, Virgo. Who is Virgo dealing with? Who is Virgo dealing with? Virgo. An owl? I don't know. I think this is like a saint symbol. Skulls to you. Ooh, you guys got two seahorses, so that could be kind of significant. An L, and then you have a music symbol there.
What is that? A P, O, a Q, a G. An N. Who's Virgo dealing with? H, N, Z, S, another owl. Did I see an owl the first time around? Who is Virgo dealing with? More music. So this is someone who does music. O, H, A, S, H again. Strong H. So Virgo, be very careful with this person because they want to still hold on to you. They don't want to lose you. But at the same time, I don't think they want to give you what you need either. I feel like this is someone who's wasting your time. They're just wasting your time. So whatever you've been fearing with this person is actually very, you should be, you should, you have the reason to feel the way you do with this person. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for tuning to Freak In. Love you guys. And I will see you guys next time.